Dreamcore's Brothel presents The Wild Beyond the Witchlight. This is going to be a bitch, mostly for you, but it's also going to be a bitch for me to handle 25 characters. Okay. That's mostly going to be his problem. This is what you wanted to do. So we'll just begin. On your side, Tyler, move the green squared McGuy right in front of you. Are we downstairs already? No. no apparently you guys not. Didn't make it there. All right, go ahead and move him down the stairs. Or, sorry, not down the stairs. The red circle. Move him down the bleachers. What was that 5, 10, 15? Down one more. These are all 10, so that's 40. And it's a 5 foot square. Okay. 5, 10, 15. That's 20, right? 25, 30. So move him. Yeah, if he can get there, that's fine. Yeah. Honestly, you could have just, yeah. Either way. This blue square individual in the front, move him as far as he can towards the two of you. Yeah, if you can get him there, that's fine. Yeah, that was only six total. Not even um, that. Yellow circle, move him towards the other guys. He should be able to get right up on, I believe that's supposed to be Josh. You can go here. Between. That's fine. That works. Red, same thing. Blue square, same thing. Other side. Uh, and then the other mm -hmm. yellow circle over there. Um, yeah. Same thing coming to this side, to my left of Yeah, as long as that's as long as he's not moving too far. Um everybody else move them down the bleachers. Uh, 10 feet like down as if they were going down the bleachers not towards me down down like yeah in elevation the rest are standing okay so we'll start with green square on this side swipes at uh, the puppet okay that is a these are just standard Darklings. They're not Darkling Elders, so they don't have the special armor. Can I see downstairs from I the mean, stairwell? It curves a little, but you know where it goes. Okay. That's five. Okay. It's a 14 to hit you? No. That's a miss. Wait, do these guys not get multi? They may mm. not get multi. Hang on. That's fine. That might actually save your life. I have an out. I'm not worried. Nope. They do not need a multi. All right, then. Uh, so then that one would have been the red one on Alex, which that definitely doesn't hit because I rolled a six on the die. Uh, Blue one on Alex. That probably going to hit. That is a 21 to hit. That does hit. Nah, that'll hit you. <laughs> it's not your Starfinder kit. <laughs> right? No, 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 one, so... no one in our group here has that high of an armor class. Yeah, yeah my, my character in Starfinder is kind of ridiculous. So if you recall, the first three you killed, you killed two of these guys and one of the elders. The mm -hmm. elder is the only one that actually got to swing at you because he just killed the other two pretty much outright. All right. Uh, he was using a scimitar. These guys only have daggers. All right. It's a D4. What you got? That is five piercing, however. However... Seven necrotic on top of it. Mm. So you took two piercing because <laughs> yeah. your armor class thing mm -hmm. or heavy armor. So well, the necrotic does not get negated. No, it only applies to slashing, bludgeoning, piercing. There That's why it's two piercing. That puts me up to. That's a, sh a lot of necrotic damage. It's two d six. Yeah, that's a yeah, lot of necrotic. dagger. That's, that's just a hit. Yeah. I kind of want to loot all those daggers once we're done. It's interesting. So. I, I I would have thought it would be less because it's it's two d six for the scimitar as well. I doubt it's the dagger. I feel it's something that's inclined, like tied to them as creatures. Yeah, it's like a Morgul blade. It's just what's on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, so like if he took the dagger, he has that. No, that's it, what it I'm is. Saying. It is. It is race. Related. That's that's what I'm saying. It, it, it's them yeah. that's causing it. Like when they die and go to ash, everything goes to ash, including their weapons. There's nothing left. <laughs> that's what I assumed. It, it's, it's almost like they're them. bound. So if you were to take it. It ash. would probably just disappear and fall to ash in your hand. Most likely. It loses its connection. Um, it's sad that all the really great stuff is useless to us. There are two of them on... There's cool stuff around. There are two of them on Josh. That's definitely not going to hit. That's a three on the die. 
Uh, uh, your AC is slightly lower than his, isn't it? Does uh, 14 hit you? Nope. I think the lowest we have is 15. Okay, and I was only able to get one of them on uh, Troy. Troy there. That is... If it's, say it's a f- uh, 13 to hit. Probably not going to hit. Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. I know this for sure. If you roll less than 15, you didn't hit anybody. Yeah. I need better armor. It's going to go to Light. Troy. Troy, do me a favor. Roll nature. Not nurture. Nine. Okay. You rolled nurture. Good job. <laughs> I'm going to give everybody a nature check on their turn. So, I'm uh, I'm with Coral, right? Correct. <laughs> I love how these Coral's like, eh. Fishman, it's up. Coral. He That's just we're going gave with. up. Coral. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Do you happen to have anything that lets you, like, escape without provocation? Like Misty Step or something? He doesn't. I mean, you can disengage. Well, yeah. But you just can only that, move your normal speed. I'm not sure, Rogue, but yeah, no. I don't, also true. I don't believe he has anything like that. You can hop out of there. Oh, I know. That's, that's I know what he's like, do. do you have options? I have options to just fight him right here. <laughs> but, well, well, he could, that, he could actually disengage and then action surge and then do another action and get the shit out. It, just lo- it drops your action surge for the whole battle, but yeah. Are you able to grab him and jump with him? It doesn't specify. I mean, I would assume that's would be some kind of... What's your... Okay, let's, let's workshop this. What's your maximum distance you can leap without someone in your arms? Because I would say if you have someone in your arms, I'd let you leap half. That's not going to do anything. It's I can five times your proficiency, so I can jump fifteen feet. Mm. So yeah, not going to get you very far. If we start getting overwhelmed, I, I have frost fingers. If we get him in a bottleneck, well, which is like those, about the only AOE all y'all got. If that stairwell is as wide as it looks, stairwell is five feet. Then we don't have to worry about a bottleneck once we get down there, because each character is five foot square. Just plant me in the middle. And Given you guys push, push, what you're trying to do is not a bad idea. You're going to essentially have to fight so one at a time. So the air is blowing from you, and then they yeah. have to make the best the option. So they don't move mm-hmm. immediately. So Josh, great job destroying that elevator. You told him to. I no. I did. This yeah. is a legitimately good strategy. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, I wasn't. I was still figuring out the move that he asked about. Not facetious. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna hop out of here. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Cool. Are you able to attack as well? Yeah. That's, that's a bonus, bonus action. Cool. Ooh. That's where you need like a cleave 12? skill. Nope. That's where you need a cleave skill. <laughs> Even lower. 13. You feel like if this was a game of numbers, you just missed it. Yeah. <laughs> so R14 wins. Got it. <laughs> now it's you, Josh. What would you like to do? <clears throat> So Josh disengaged. He moved his maximum. He's still you're still pretty close to the, the original group. You could you can do a bonus action, but you can't act as a and throw. I'm looking to see if that's um, that spells an action. I was like, if it's an action, you can blow wind that way, so they can't come at you from the front <laughs> <laughs> easily, at least, because that would hit them. Normally, you don't use a lot of bonuses. That's why I was. Well, if he step gets further on, though, it'll be more useful since this yeah. is also a secondary bottleneck. Uh, so we go from you then to Tyler. Do you want to do my nature check now? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Roll me a nature check. I forgot how you do that. Rude. Nine. Good on you. 23. Um, you know a little bit about Darklings. Weird. Because reasons. Um, <laughs> Random f- <laughs> and just insight well, in the it, situation. It's, it's not so much that you've like read it in a book. It's You're looking at 25 fucking of them and you killed three of them. You've seen them up close. I've noticed something odd. <laughs> Their, their eyes have like a glaze to them. Um, like they're dead? No. Okay. Not more, that kind of more, more like it's light sensitive. Ah, I know if that feeling. <laughs> that I don't know whether or not that helps you in battle, but bright light would be a problem for them. They're basement dwellers. Got it. All right. Do I have any lights? But no. <laughs> but they do once they die. They explode. They blind. Hmm. Are you trying just to run, or are you going to actually try to hit? Well, I can attack and move. Problem is, I got someone within range of me, so I have disadvantage on the attack. 
even if I'm not targeting that person. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll uh, try to blast the two over here with Eldritch at disadvantage. Okay. Miss. Miss. They are literally the same number. So two misses, and then I'm just going to go and try and get down the stirs. Okay. So you'll take one attack of opportunity then? Yes, sir. Uh, Does a 15 hit you? That's exactly my hit. Okay. That is four piercing and nine necrotic. Okay. But how far down the stairs can I go? I can go up to 30. Like where you can, where get, would you can get down into the, so in, into the, is this like two? So it's like, one, it's, two. it's like, uh, I'd have to go back and look at how the steps were structured. I believe it is. I think it was 15 or 20, 20 feet to get down to the next level. Gotcha. So then I'm there. Yeah, because yeah, it was two squares. So it'd be 20 feet to get down. There you go. I'm there then. Okay. I'm out to the combat, boys. But you're bleeding. Eh, Alex. I'm not bleeding. I don't have blood. I've got a deep gouge. No one be- make me be splintered. Blood. I've been splintered. I got a deep gouge. Uh, nature check was 19. It's for the same thing. Okay. Um, you're you, you understand as well that these things have light sensitivity. Anybody okay. got a light clearly, spell? They're clearly not made for daylight. In Which doesn't case, be, isn't an issue where they're at because it's a very cloudy area. In that case, I'll just use that for my attack roll then. Since no, you're going to re-roll. <laughs> Damn. You said hey, you were making you a nature check. You know what? You can't use it. You claimed a well, nature check before you rolled it. That's what it was for. Okay, fine. You still rolled an 18. It's fine. Exactly. It's going to hit. Like, okay. Which one are you hitting? Red, red green, or blue? Oh... Uh, None of them. None of them have been hit. So, yeah, let's go with green. Okay. Thirteen. You you cleave that one in twain. Make me a Constitution saving throw. I also need. He split that arrow in five twain. To, yeah, because you're within ten feet. So I, uh, Troy, I need you to make one as well. Uh, and I got to make one. You're within ten guys. feet of me, right? Uh, you are within ten feet, so you'll get the plus four. Yep. That's a save. Yeah. No, I made it. Yeah, the DC is 10. So as long as you roll 10, you're good. Yeah, the dice is it. 15. Okay. So that thing, that one flashes, turns to ash. You can remove it from the board. Would you like to take the green Which square? One? The green square. Green square. Uh, in I that case, a, I'll do my on second attack on the red one. Second attack on the red one. 19. Hits. Let's go again. Let's go again. And we do it again. Exact same number. Yep. 13 hit points is their max, dude. So you're slicing them in half. Uh, again, make it. Yep. Oh, I got to make one for blue. Uh, oh, yep, that makes it. It's an 11 on the die, right? You can remove the red circle then. All right. In that case, since I cannot attack again, I will. You get can up. move. You can move. It'll just, you'll just get an op attack against you. That's okay. Um, five, 10. You'll be like right at the bottom of the stairs. And that's a nat one, so he will not hit you. Ha <laughs> ha, take that. But now I go. So everybody you just moved away from is going to chase you. That's the thing. What's their movement? 30. Put like two on him and two on you if you can, if they can reach you. Or put them all on Josh because you're a dick. That's 30. That's <laughs> as far as they can go. <laughs> just I'm just giving you shit. They're going to make use of whatever distance they can. Uh, the four on your left directly in front of you, move them forward 10 feet. Here? Yep. That man's got a bat. Yeah. Well, it's I guess it's all from that Godfather game. I guess it's a dagger, but it looks like a club. So blue will swing on the the rabbit. That might hit you. Um, that's an eighteen. Mm, yep. Ooh, that is max of uh, seven piercing, but only four necrotic. Is it four necrotic? Yes. Back to the top of the order, Troy. I gotta take my jacket off. I'm getting them warm. It's a hot, hot battle. Sweating. It's like a sauna in here. You know, slice and run, or you just want to run. Yeah, cut him down. I am going to do my <clears throat> whatever that was called. You cut him down in one hit. Maybe. Like the lion. <laughs> he lands a decent roll, yeah. <laughs> As you all know. I may only do a few things, but I do them very well. 
Uh, yeah, 18 will hit. Sure does. 11. Okay, still standing. Another hit. Hits. For nine. He did. <clears throat> Con save. Um, five, ten. You're okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. With your bonus. Oh, you're not near me anymore. No, no, never mind. I don't get it. You don't have it? No. Nope. Okay. Then Sorry you. About that. Flash of bright light hits you. You can remove that guy from the board, by the way. Um, you are blinded until the end of your next turn. Okay. Was that this guy? Yeah. Yep. So what does that uh, cause? I'm trying to think. You, you basically. I think they have advantage on you. You have disadvantage on attacks and advantage on you because you can't, you're, you're not able to know where they're coming from. Okay, so he can still move in a yeah. straight line. Okay, get the hell out of there. <laughs> Come join us at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, you can move. It's 20 feet to get down the stairs. <clears throat> yeah. So you'd be on the stairs. 20, yeah, be 20 more feet. You'd, you'd be basically right there. Right there. You'd literally be on the stairwell. Yeah. And you're like, guys, I can't see anything. <laughs> so yank on his ears because that's fine. Rabbits love when you do that. This is a uh, common situation for Josh being ditched by the party. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds right. like a run and action surge and run some more. <laughs> ditched by the party, left to his own devices, surrounded by angry people. I guess I'm just going to run and hope for the best. All right, so just engaging. How far can he get? Is he at like the top of the stairs then? Uh, one, two, three, two, four, four, five, two, six is top of the stairs. Yeah. So you're so, not, yeah, you're at the top. And he gets, what, three op attacks at disadvantage? Since three things are on top of him? He disengaged. He disengaged. That gives them disadvantage. No, they Oh, that, they that's right, it doesn't trigger it. At all. That's right, I forgot to disengage is that. So if you wanted action surge, he could take the other action surge and get down the stairs. If, the, if you wanted to use it on your movement, yeah, you just don't have it for the rest of the fight. Because they can move up on you this you time. You don't have it for the rest of the day. Yeah, it's a long... Yeah, I don't uh, use that. Oh, it's, a short, that it's, a short it's a short rest. It's a short rest. It's, 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 no, it's once per day. Oh, is it? Is it? I thought or no, it sorry. Rest. It's once per rest. rest. So yeah. yeah, you could take an hour to get it back. If we can on. get out of this situation, we could do that. I don't, yeah, I'm going to save it. Okay. Please do me a favor and push that same group towards him. Stop him there. The stage is in the way. Okay. Can squeeze through. Yeah, but the other guy can keep coming towards him. The other guy in the back can follow. All right. Take two instead of three. This is positives. <laughs> uh, the group. Moving on up there. The group of four. Uh, that are in the bleachers, move them off the bleachers and towards the stairwell as far as they can get. That whole group on your right, Troy, move them all up five feet. Or sorry, ten, ten feet. <laughs> your right, yeah. What about those guys? Including the ones that are on the ground. All these? No, just the group he's got. Uh, the guy uh-huh. in the yellow circle at the bottom there too, yeah. Two attacks on you. Nope, that's a 14. That's a hit. That's a 17 on the die. Max damage, I'll die. Oh, God. Nope. It's five piercing. Still high. Oh, and uh, seven necrotic. You do have a thing to get some health back, too, by the way. Yeah, second wind. Your second wind. Not yet. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if you guys have health potions or not. I know you picked up a bunch of potions as you've gone. No HP pots. If only you could, like, if only you could polymorph into, like, dragonflies and shit. Well, that's a 25% chance <laughs> that we could turn into a giant frog and just whoop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, there's also the fact that it's artificial HP. That doesn't yeah. affect anything. It doesn't hit you. Yeah, it's, they don't it's hit free you. health. That's what I'm it's saying. It's free health, and you get to fight as a creature for a little while. It's an option. And when you revert, you just go back to whatever your health was at the time before. Yep. Yeah, I might have to pop one of those once Josh gets down, so I'm not blocking the stairs. Sure. <clears throat> you're, still, you're still blinded, but you're there. You're at the top of the uh, stairs. I'll just move five feet next to Kitty. Okay. Does does it say like how long that lasts? Until minutes. the end of your next turn. So after this turn, you you're, okay. You'll be unblinded. Right now, you're bleary eyed, but yeah. you you can't see that well. I'll just ready in action if an enemy enters the square in front of me. Cool. Uh, your vision starts to come back, Josh. On you. You disengage down the steps. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, That'll work. Um, and then go there, Tyler. Yeah. What do you want to do? Looking at my spells, they don't do anything because you don't have line of sight. <laughs> well, ooh. Mm. See if they're dumb. Minor illusion. The bottom of the stairs. There's a wall there now. That's an idea. It's just a wall. 
Bottom of the stairs leads to a wall. Okay. Let's see what happens. And that that you want you just want to hold your action, Alex. Does it have, give me an advantage on anything? So when you hold your action in D and D, basically you say, "I'm going to hold my action until this thing happens." So you can say, "I want to hold my action to attack." If somebody that's a readied action, a hold action. It's the same idea. Okay. Hold uh, action is yeah. like I'll wait till someone else does something. Well, sorry, take after right. hold action. Ready in action. Yeah, ready in action. In you can that ready in case, action. I will hold off on my attack until one of the darklings finds out that this wall is not a wall. Okay. So, so the moment one of them walks through the illusion, you're going to hit it. I'm either going to hit it or do the other thing. I was Actually, do. would you prefer that's to right. be right here? Because then you could do your frosty fingers at the hall, and they're literally just stuck. It's a cone, but you're just blasting down the hallway. Yeah, it's a yeah. fifteen foot cone. Yeah, but you're just <laughs> in the hallway. Just burr. <laughs> or the wind. Okay. Or the wind. Keep that thing going. Frost the whole fingers time. does um, damage. So. Yeah, what kind of a, they have what to kind of go uh, slowly. Is it like a series. save to recognize that? What it's doing? literally just if they determine it, it goes away. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I've never used my illusion. I just remember I had it. I was like, ooh, make a fake wall. <laughs> well, take a look at it to see I what am. I need to do to make sure. I imagine it's going to be an intelligence or a wisdom roll, but I don't know if it's a check or a save. <laughs> uh, it's a matter of a... Creature can use an action, and it's a DC intelligence investigation, and it's mine is a 16. they got to roll higher than a 16 to realize it's not a real wall. Apparently, they're All not right. that bright. Well, we'll keep with it. So Red will run down to the bottom of the stairs. He's still on the stairs, obviously. He sees a wall and goes, huh? And it's only faint to the creature. It's a nat 20. Well, he figured out it's not a real wall. So then he will be able to step through it. It's faint to him so he can see through said wall. Yeah. Mm. Now, he can't stop in 5, 10, 15, 20. He can't walk through your... He has to stop at the bottom of the steps. So That's he's literally correct. on the steps. Which one? Red. The red. So he's literally on the steps, and he can see through the... He, you can tell he has seen through the illusion, which will let you do what you want to do before I move the rest of my guys. All right. I will uh, take one. That's me. What I do want to do... He did the same thing. Mm-hmm. So, uh, 19 will hit. Yes, will. If he kills it, they don't know that it's there. 14. 14 damage? Yes. And he did. Wow. He, that one's dead. It, Con saves for everybody. Bleh. Remember. But there's the wall in front of us. Plus four. <laughs> you get plus four. <laughs> Can I you trick it? the Got DM it. into thinking that what, there's a wall there? What was the thing? Con save? You get a plus four. I have a 16. Oh, Base is 10. 10. Okay, then I got it. I What'd rolled a 10. Did you fail? What'd you get? With his bonus, no. Okay. Thank you, Divine Protection. Because it, it's an eight for me. With eight, that, without the bonus? Yeah. Okay. Pre-bonus. Yeah. yeah. So nice. flash of light, everything goes. Next guy, You're blue. You're welcome. Blue will be like one square back, but he can still make the check. Yeah. Eight, yeah. Uh, what was the? 16. Yeah, he doesn't. He has no idea what's going on. Guys, there's a wall. <laughs> They built like, a does, wall. Does the wall disappear? No, it's in, it, it's only visible to whomever, if like they pass the check, they can see, like it's faint. They can see through the wall. If they okay. try to interact with it, they can find out it passes through. But unless they fail, it looks like a wall. <laughs> yeah. Um, Fake wall. Go ahead and move one of the two yellow round circle guys down. He's going to be like one step behind him. I'll have him roll as well. Nope. No idea. Stairwell leads to a wall. Are they dumb? Um, so at this point, they're communicating. There's a wall down here. They don't know where to go. <laughs> Utility spells, man. <laughs> if they can't make the check, they're not going to touch it. Yeah, there's right? no reason. Like, they don't know. They don't know. It's like they, but it, it's a wall. <laughs> yeah. They're now, how long does it last? Uh, I think it's a minute. Concentration? So, uh, no, it's just an action. Okay. It's a cantrip. It's nothing crazy. I just made a fake wall. You made a fake wall. Mm-hmm. Now... What would you guys like to do? I'm going to keep you in an initiative just in case something changes. But what would you guys like to do? That's a cantrip. So you're going to sit there and cast that spell. One minute. Every 59 seconds. The illusion also ends if you dismiss that as an action or cast this spell again. Literally, I'm just going to keep the wall up. How you bad is everybody find hurting? <laughs> I'm not that far down. Because I haven't used any of my healing attribute yet. How? If you guys and it's would 5 be. HP per level. How far down are you? 60. Uh, I've only lost 17. 17? What's your max? 79. I've oh. lost 19 of my 67. I keep forgetting you guys are That's like 6th level. Pretty substantial. <clears throat> well, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm down to 40, so I'll just pop about 20 on myself. Go for it. So okay. Pop that back. Yeah, you're, you're the guy that can take the most hits because you can survive the most. So. I have well, the he's highest got the, he's got the heals. AC, <laughs> yeah. and I have a I healing have factor. Wind. It's just... 
But. Yeah, but it's not that's even second wind isn't as great as his because his sure. is like a pool of points. Yours is a chance on a die. Yeah, yours is whatever yeah. your I legit can D10 give you plus HP. level though, so I do get a set amount. You, you at least get seven as your max, right? Yeah. Would you like five HP just to buff? If you want to, I'm it's not up to you. I won't oppose. <laughs> that's fine. I mean, so yeah, you got I'm 79 gonna, hit points. It's not like you're terrible. I'm yeah, really no, just going to keep the I wall active. We could also take an, take an hour and roll hit die if we need to. So, I, I mean, I I feel fine right now. If he's going to continue to roll cantrips, he can't. Well, no. Uh, they can't. I'm fine. You're, you're down here, and there's a group of people. They're actors and stage fright. Everybody's down here. Yeah, no, I'm unbothered I, by if they want to do the rest, I can just keep that doesn't oh. bother me. Like I'm health isn't a big deal right now. Does anybody want to look for uh stage fright? Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Down here. Find yeah. stage fright. I'm finding yeah. I'm finding stage fright. You guys take the time. He's in this room, all the actors are in here. Okay. The room that you guys actually came through. No one seems to be even realizing that there's like a cave opening here. Good. It's just they're cowering for their lives. They're not fighters. I'm walking in there, sword in hand, not pointed at him, but just in hand, mm -hmm. saying, give me the scepter. <laughs> Go ahead and roll me with advantage an intimidate check. And you have the bone. The, don't you have like double advantage if it's charisma? It's persuasion, isn't it? What's your charisma skill? I'll tell you what. Which one, whichever one's better. I mean, yeah, my intimidation is... Batar. Uh, I just knew he got advantage on something. He's a very intimidating. Yeah, just rapper. because of his his samurai background option. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, like you guys take a short rest doesn't really impact me. Yeah, All it's I was doing I haven't lost. I haven't used a spell slot. Uh, that'll be a twenty-two. Intimidate. He, he yeah. shakily hands you the scepter. Thank you. Can I see Gracias. <laughs> uh, all right. So you have the scepter. You're making a wall. We gotta you get back to the prison room. Yeah. So your secondary uh, exit out of here that might have been useful was demolished. Well, broken. All we did was wedge something in the gears. Did we, though? You were told to break it. Not yeah, to, no, I, not to I, I, I insisted that it be busted. Now, does that mean you can't get the elevator open? Yeah, I was like, you can He's easily. not. I was like, that's a climb check. You just got to figure out how to get the elevator open if that's going to be the exit you attempt. And it's going to be three of you because one of you is casting. Now, is it an elevator in the fact that it's just an... Because you said it was a platform. Yeah, it's literally like a... It's a wooden platform. That, that just raises and lowers. Raises and lowers, yeah. Are there like ropes and chains? Yeah. They could easily climb that or he could hop it. Well, so the ropes and chains run on pulleys and stuff. That's fine. Like, it's not like the rope The rope doesn't come out of... Is the elevator up or down? I assumed it was down. Because um, he went down and busted the thing. So the way, the way it appears to me is as if it is, it's down, but on the main floor, it just looks like a wood, wood space. So like it's got a top to it. Okay. So it's like it's like a car. It's like an elevator okay. car, right? Break a hole in the ceiling, climb through. I can literally cast the cantrip and walk away. It lasts a minute. Yeah. Like, I just make sure it stays up this whole time. And if we need to do something, I can like, all right, we got a minute. <laughs> or once you guys figure out how to do this, I can just throw up another wall. Where's the front door to this place? The front door? Yeah. Up that stairwell on your right. Right here? Yep. The only way to it is from outside the castle. Yeah. And where was our locked prison room again? Was it in this area, or was it... Uh, the locked prison room, I believe, was on the third level. Yeah. Because I'm just trying to think, any possible racket we make is going to be heard if we try to go up the elevator. Over if we here. try to go up the elevator with the elevator. We could. I'm sure the elevator has some kind of opening in the top somewhere. It does not. We could make an opening in the top somewhere. Yeah. You could. Yeah. It's, it's still possible to make noise. That's a stealth check to get past all of these guys. Or we just go out... The hole in the wall. The hole in the wall. Try to go to the front door. So that's going to take days. Yeah. Days? It took us a while to get there to begin with. Because we're like in an it underground be, it tunnel. It would probably be like stuff. a day and a half's walk because you got to go all the way back to the Brignac mine, through oh, the mine, and yeah. out. It's not an easy way. And then come back to the front door. Is there a way out the window? No. It's off a cliffside. Your only other exit is that double door no, that goes to that... To the uh, platform with the cranes set above. Yeah, but that's deeper. I mean, it's there. Right. I'm seeing two options here that we're not thinking of. Okay. One, the transmute potion. There's a 25 to 75 percent. True. Chance. We could be a big ass fucking dragon. One of us could take it, see if they transform. Worst case scenario, if they end up getting through the wall, you get bonus HP to 
fight as a giant frog for X, Y, Z amount of turns. Dragonfly's loud as balls. That's yes, true. Yes, <laughs> but if we try use the dragonfly, fly up the giant hole with the cranes, yeah. fly around and get the hell out. I mean, you, you could feasibly horrible. carry people to yeah, the level that you're idea, trying to get to. Exactly. You could, yeah, you could absolutely fly them, fly somebody up to the next level you want to try to get to, and avoid all these people. Exactly. So, like, we can completely avoid this situation. And then there's the other option, which kill them all. <laughs> Let me go back. And we'll look call at that. that option B. Let me go back and look at that potion because it's. Uh, when did you guys? You guys got that, and but God, you guys got that in Babylonian's Cauldron, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We did. We've been holding on to those potions God for a damn. while. A couple of days, at least. Got a week. No, no. Not it says week. we have three three bottles of it. Mm-hmm. Is that each, or was yes. that? Yeah, okay. you guys each mm-hmm. had them. Yeah, that's right, because that's not in the bag of holding. That's in my actual thing. And then there's the last option, which is I have those bottles of lightning. <laughs> they don't like light. They do not, because remember, I took a couple, several of those bottles and I threw more in the bag. I have five in the bag. I uh, know. I st- stored five in the bag, and I have three on my person. So if I need to start chucking bottles of lightning at people. I have a, I have a bottle that's, that says vanish on it. I don't know if I'm assuming we determined that that meant that it's... It's an invisible ability yeah. yeah. Yeah, I kept the dust of corrosion, too. But just regular invisibility, I'm assuming, right? Not ghost step or misty step. There's greater where you have the ability like do actions and things. Uh, Regular invisibility is just like I'm invisible until something happens. Greater is I can do stuff and stay invisible. Gotcha. You can pull a poltergeist. Yes. Gotcha. Greater is really good. Like I said, there's a couple options to us. It just depends on which direction we want to go with this. Because we still have the wall. They're starting to get themselves choked up in the hallway. I also have two polymorphs. I haven't used any of them. Just, I traded one for my thimble. Yeah, I got three of those, and then I have the giant jug of them from where I use my wasp nest. Just gave it to the guy. Uh, so, which direction are we thinking? I like the dragonfly. You like the dragonfly? What about you guys? I mean, that's if you turn into a dragonfly. And if I don't, I'll fight as a giant bullfrog, which probably has more reach with the tongue. Nope. No? It's not really more special. I don't care. The dragonfly's the better one. That's why it's a 25% chance. 100%. 100% on that. The bullfrog's got like 12 health. No, you got like multiple chances. Yeah. yeah. You got multiple right. bottles. Who's drinking? Right. I can do it. I'm not because I okay. can't cast my spells. Okay. I can do it. Dick, take a drink. Roll roll a D100. Okay. Or you want to roll low. Oh, you're making it low. I didn't know I were doing 5%. Well, it's a 25% chance. Yeah. That is a 97. You're a frog. <laughs> Rip it. Let me see how long it lasts. Well, how long does it last on Polymorph? Up to an hour concentration. Up to an hour concentration. But I believe you can opt out of it if you want. Okay. I'm checking. I I mean... I mean, I can opt out and drink another one. If that's an option. It's up to you guys. I don't care. (laughs) I mean, mean, we've got... I'll do it too. What else are we going to use this for? We've got 10 more. Yeah. To use amongst us. If you want to try it, roll, roll a D100. Yeah. You're also a frog. You guys it, are about to have a Budweiser moment. You cannot just opt out of it. Yeah. So you are until you reach zero HP or something happens. I'm a giant bullfrog at the bottom of the stairs. Can I stab the f*** out of him? Yeah. Well, <laughs> that was option B. <laughs> There's always Can an option Can I feed B. him another one and will it? It wouldn't. It wouldn't, make, it wouldn't work that way. That's a shame. That would save so much time. Or it's an hour? It's upwards of an hour until they hit zero HP. I'm not concentrating. It's not concentration. Because Uh, because it's a potion. Not even if it's polymorph, it doesn't matter. Polymorph isn't concentration. Oh, that's true, too. Stab Uh, away. You have 18 health. I I will sacrifice this You can attack. You can just attack them. No, he's he's making that sacrifice. That is the sacrifice he's willing to make. I I hit him. It's 18 HP. Okay. Keep going. Who else wants to roll? I'm busy building walls. We got to make sure one person can kill the frog at a time. So yeah. if you want to try one, yeah, I'll I'm wait. just I'm hitting them. So you could have the so other frog attack the frog. You Remember act- to have all the spectators pay. After after a few after a few minutes, you guys turn back after he cuts you up. 
You have a bite attack. You have a couple more tries. That was an unfortunate situation. You got what, eight more tries? <clears throat> you have my two Nine. bottles. Let's Go hand them off. We're going again. It's two out of ten, right? Hmm? He's Seventeen. No. Mm, he, he had, had three hits. We all had we all had three. He had two. Okay. Yeah. Chorus, it's 11. Chorus got dragonfly. Chorus. He's a dragonfly. Chorus now. goes back to his normal self and says, Let me show you that again. Pops it, and boom. You have a dragonfly. You went from a fish to a flying bug. Also, a, a 120 feet around, people can hear the drone of the wheel. He wings. hasn't yes. taken off yet. Well, he hasn't when taken you take off flight. yet. Yes. Yeah. So, everybody get on board. You too, Moon, bo- moon Girl. Um, I don't think you can take everybody at once. Let me look up. How giant, many people? Giant dragon, it's I'm, giant dragonfly, I'm right? I'm pulling it up. Okay. I'll just hand you the phone. So, we'll send the softest targets first. Basically, just assume one if no, they're I'm trying to figure out how big is it. So it's only large. So okay. I'm assuming you can only take like two people at a time. Yeah, and I'm tiny. Yeah. So you I would are tiny. So you could probably take two people and him. Okay, I say I you got the two, puppet, two, two, two. the moon girl, and you. Yeah, if you're gonna have him continue to cast, then he's gonna have to come back down, get him, and go. All right. So. I have an idea. Usagi and our escort, mm-hmm. they go up so he can protect her, her in case of situations. I stay down with the puppet, and then he and I go up together. Okay. Let me look at this map and see where you guys are going to have to land. Yeah. Great. Brilliant fucking idea. I mean. Well, you guys said we needed to start thinking outside the box, and yep. you don't like my other options. So. <laughs> I mean, your other options are to do what you were just doing. <laughs> hey, it worked. No, it's not like you weren't killing things. No, and with my uh, if this was if this game was done by XP and not by whenever I decide, right? You guys would grind on a lot of fucking darklings. Oh, absolutely, because we want those levels. Because a lot of us get really good stuff the higher level up. <laughs> okay, so you guys could feasibly land. Hmm. So it's not the top level. It's they're calling it tower level one, which is actually a level two in this. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they do it. It's ground. It's stage level, tower level one, tower level two. So it's it's the second floor. Mm-hmm. You could feasibly land on the exact same balcony that the giant balloon is tethered to. That's a good option. Yeah. You guys managed to maintain the wall. It only took you three potions, which probably maybe took you 15 to 20 minutes to, to work your way through that, that little uh, issue. Really loud droning as the dragonfly takes off, carrying gleam. And the Heron gun, you land on the exact same balcony that is uh, that the balloon is tethered to, the giant cloud balloon. The three merchants are there? Yep. You then go back down. You're able to probably get the rest of them because you're such a small creature. It doesn't make a difference. Somebody could put you in your lap and you're like, pretty much. I don't weigh much. I weigh basic, I weigh less than some suits of armor. Right. (laughs) Um, and as you guys, you see a, you see whatever's left of the Darklings, I don't know, like 17 of them or something, 16 of them, mm-hmm. just kind of looking up like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you land. Now at the moment, uh, you are probably going to have to go inside because there's not going to be enough space for all of you plus the dragonfly on the balcony. And then you will have to kill said... Uh, have to kill the dragonfly. He can walk around as a dragonfly. <laughs> he can't fit through that door. He, he can't fit through. Well, the door. it's a ten foot door. He's a large creature. Yeah, you can fit that. Th- no, yeah, he, you, can, you can squeeze in. He, he just pops his wings in. And just that's true. He Roll just takes up. up four squares. Doesn't mean he's four squares wide. You open up the door and see three darklings, the same three you bought your random crap from, and they are like, "What the fuck's going on?" If this is that circular right. sort of almost like a meeting room. Um, Why are we going back to talk to them? We are. That's the balcony you were able to get to. Oh, oh, I thought we need to get to the third floor so we can get. The oh, their floor. balloon. Okay. No, no. This this is the correct floor. Oh, we're on that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we got the stick now, so we can go through the. Uh, I had to go back and look at it. It's wall. not. It's not. The prison's not upper. It's her room, and then the other two oh, uh, second right. level balconies that look over the stage. That's right. So where you're at now is where you want to. Well, be. well, wasn't there a balcony that had the her like her mode of transportation? That was a floor up. Yeah. So why don't we fly to that? Well, if we you want to go to the open. prison, it's, it, I'm getting you closer to the prison. Yeah, the prison's where mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure the sun is. Yes. Do we want we to get need that the sun and that? moon. Why I thought that's why you would want to yeah. be there. I mean, just avoiding having to interact with the merchants, I guess. Uh, well, I mean, it's just an awkward, like, what's going on? What's up? Just passing through. 
Carry about your business. Dra- yeah. Dragonfly? Ignore mm-hmm. him. We found it. it- oh. <laughs> we really don't have time to talk. See ya. Okay. And so they'll leave. just kind of step aside. Yeah, and they, we they're, leave the they're, room. they're merchants. They don't really care um, about what's going on. When exactly. you peek back, you see them starting to jump into their balloon. They're trying to get away. They start to untie it. <laughs> Be careful. There's probably, a storm out there. Probably the best option for them. Yeah, I would. I'd get the heck out. Yeah. Uh, all right. I guess we're going to make our way to the um, prison. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you see a giant stone door that has no hinges and no handles. Thank you all for listening. The Wild Beyond the Witchlight is co-written by Stacy Allen, Will Doyle, Ari Levich, and Chris Perkins. You can find us online at rancorsbrothel.com and on Facebook Fans of the Rancor's Brothel. Mm-hmm.